Hi, I'm Matthew Steven, and welcome to the Voice Radio Network. Uh, this is a small segment on YouTube tonight, and it's a series of videos I'll be doing again. Uh, one of the important subjects I'm going to cover tonight is called Beyond the Oil Spill. Uh, as most people know, we have an oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. It's a crisis, and uh, it's much more beyond the oil spill that you need to hear about, and I've got some very strong prophetic revelation uh, as we go into a series of videos on Beyond the Oil Spill. So we're going to carry part of that tonight, and here we go. Since the time of Christ, the earth has been hit by the hand of God with the opening of the seals since Jesus took his place on the throne. With ever-increasing measure of the seals, trumpets, and bowls that have been released and have increased upon the earth, including in America, the earth has gone through a major shift, but nothing compared to the last 16 years. Not to say that there has not been great disasters, for there has been a great, me uh, great measure of disasters on the earth for many years. What we, what we see when Jesus Christ brought forth the beginning of the kingdom age is a major earth change to destroy the works of darkness, to put an end to the devil's rule on the earth. And obviously, the foremost thing, foundation, was to bring salvation, but he was to destroy the kingdom of Satan. And so that's what took place there. We, and, and it's continuing from the time of Christ, and it's not like it stops. We are now at the close of the kingdom age for the great and notable day, but as the bride of Christ, we must rise to the commission that Yeshua Messiah gave us. That is to have dominion with all power and authority over the devil to destroy the works of darkness. So will we as the church make the call? Will you make the call tonight to stand up as the church? To be the church that Jesus is calling us to be? Not according to American Christianity 101, but according to the kingdom of God in the scriptures? Or will many miss their day of visitation as so many have done even in the day of Jesus at the beginning of the kingdom age? By misinterpreting the prophecies and the scriptures. Over the past 16 years, from June of 1994 to June 2010, America has been hit by the hand of God in judgment. We now have two years left, the 18 years of America, before the rest of her demise is finished. This is a very important thing that I'm trying to describe tonight, folks, because it's something that is happening and most of the church is going to miss their day of visitation because they're totally misinterpreting prophetically the sign of the times. Satan does not want the church to know what time it is. And we're in some really deep, deep things going on in, in the world right now. From June of 1994 to June 2012, we see that it is over for, for America as we know it. Will we go beyond 2012? Yes. I see three-year period until 2015. I will release more about this coming in a letter called Beyond 2012 at a later date. We are now in the last two years of the Clocks for America, starting in June 2010. Today is June the 8th, 2010. The clock is ticking, and we are, we are not going to see judgment one day. It has been happening from the time of Christ. And most people go, you know, we're going to see judgment one day. We're going to, no, we are seeing judgment every day, from, even from the time of Christ. And we've been seeing major judgments throughout the earth over the last hundred years at least. For the 30 years the Lord has given me this, to sound the alarm and blow the trumpet about the judgments of God, we have now come into a more serious time than ever before. We are entering a period the earth has never seen before and the likes that she will never see again. I named some of the, event, the events and that had previously taken place in America. In 1998, the Lord God gave me a vision of Katrina before it ever happened. I was living in Louisiana at the time, working for NASA. I held meetings and warning everybody I could for two weeks, even one of the VPs of the programs for NASA itself. Then God told me in 2005, and this was at the latter part of 2005, after Katrina hit, God spoke to me and he said, tell them it will be ten times worse than Katrina, what's coming. And it would hit the Gulf of Mexico. In 1993, on the coming destruction map of America, the Lord showed me about a great explosion in the Gulf 
And from that time forward, God spoke to me, and he said, from Florida to Texas it would be on fire as great floods would come up upon the land and tens of thousands of people would be killed, the wildlife would be dead, and that the fish in the sea uh, would die, and it would have great impact on the fishing and food industries, leaving a time of great food shortages that would take place. Make no mistake about it, we are now seeing the, spoil, the oil spill as part of this prophecy. We are seeing ten times worse than Katrina, but wait, it is it's what's coming beyond the oil spills, what, what's, what we're looking to see. And that's what God spoke to me. He said, tell them what's coming beyond the oil spill. And that will be ten times worse than the oil spill and seven times greater than the 9-11 event that's coming. The word I got from the Lord God to tell everyone to get off the coast and to get in place by December 2008. That time has come and gone, and not many heeded the word, and their losses were great. The hand of God has brought this judgment, and it is going to get worse, and many will die in the last two two year clock for America itself. With all that has happened, the Lord has said to me in 1993 that a new date was coming that will bring the politicians to their knees. I, I listed these disasters so that we can be reminded that it was God Almighty who sent these, that the nation would repent and has not. This was given to me in dreams and visions, the Midwest floods in the 90s, the massive floods and hurricanes, tornadoes, fires, droughts, earthquakes uh, in, the, in the 90s as well, like Bertha and Fran, that was all prophesied, the 9-11 event in New York and Washington, D.C., the terrorist attacks that killed thousands of people, uh, Katrina in Louisiana, massive floods, homes and businesses completely wiped out and people were dead. The space shuttle, uh, Columbia, broke up in February 2003, killing seven of its crew members completely in an instant of time and totally wiped out. Florida was hit by massive fires and four hurricanes all at once in 2004. Devastating tornadoes in Greensburg, Kansas wiped out. August of 2007, the deadly bridge collapse in Minnesota. And August of 2000, uh, October of 2007, was the massive fires uh, in California. One million people were fled their homes and lost everything. None of these have brought the politicians to their knees. America has been visited again by an event that is one of, of this, one of the destructive catastrophes of judgment sent by the hand of God, and still the people and its government has not repented or brought them, or they have not fallen to their knees even over this oil disaster itself. Unfortunately, most Americans are not grasping its magnitude and what is beyond the oil spill. The oil, the oil eruption is going to have very grave danger for millions of people. It is going to cause massive health problems for many tens of thousands of people. I have found myself trembling as I sought God in prayer. I have asked him for insight about this oil catastrophe. And he has said to, the, to tell me to tell the people what is beyond the oil spill is what they need to look for. That is what is coming. That will bring much fear, panic, and death that we are in the second storm and the first plate for America and that a great storm will come upon the land with great floods and there will be a great terrorist attack seven times greater than 9-11. America once again will be in a great war both on her shores and abroad. There will be greater disasters and catastrophe of catastrophic events beyond anything the world has ever known. Terrorist events are about to rise in America, and we are in the last two-year clock starting in June 2010, and I'll see you on the next series of this oil spill called Beyond the Oil Spill from Matthew Stephen.